Hello, 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 hello through the screen. It's just you and me for a tarot read. Hello, collective. We're going to be doing a message for you today from the Tinseltown Tarot. Mm, this is one of my favorite decks. It's kind of juicy as well. So if I pick this deck up, God knows what type of message spirit wants you to know god knows what type of message that's coming through but it is normally related more to the 3d aspects you know more dealing with outside situations rather than laying out the internal it does lay out the internal but it deals a lot with you know each deck has a different personality this deck deals a lot with business it deals a lot with um what you're growing it deals a lot with your passions you know uh, things like that but it also deals a lot with kind of connections friendships love connections so it's very much is based and rooted in the outside material world which is always nice to check in on and because we've been pushed into a yin and a yang energy recently um you may find a lot more of my readings are more based on the outside internal world there will seem there will be more on the internal but collectively I have to flow with the energy and we're being pushed into the external, meaning there's things that we're going to experience soon that are going to be significant to our journeys, uh, to the direction that we're taking. And that's why we're being pushed to be really in the external 3D world, to just feel what we feel, because it's going to somehow interact with the direction that we take next. So maybe what's going to happen, what situations are coming to you that are in this yang energy that are going to be significant what situations are coming to you that are going to be significant for the next part of your journey okay we have the ace of wands coming out reverse but um this came out and i saw this a lot when i was splitting the deck and shuffling we also have the sun card oh interesting energy with this ace of wands ace of wands is normally like energy to put into a direction you know it's not necessarily the plans or anything it's more like the excitement that you feel or the passion or the love you feel to put into a certain path a certain direction so you guys like getting ready for something or you should be so it's like get ready get ready you're gonna receive news or something someone could you could be receiving a message of somebody or you could be receiving you're seeing something you're seeing some type of information you're g gaining some type of news or someone's expressing something to you um hmm, interesting yeah, a lot of you, I see you like getting ready to go out or do something. This could be something that happens when you're getting ready to go out somewhere or you've made plans or something. Why is this going to be significant? I see like it's kind of unexpected in some form of way. Maybe, oh. Yeah, with the four of wands here as well, we've literally got invitation and we've got these gifts. It's almost as if, some of you, I do feel kind of like a plan being cancelled, like a direction you want to go down, something you get ready for, and then maybe it gets, it wasn't how you expected, or it gets cancelled, or maybe you should be expecting an invitation out as well. You should be expecting some type of event to go to, or some kind of gift being given, some type of exchange. This could also be like in someone coming to your home, or you going to someone's home, or there's definitely something that Spirit's telling you to get ready for get ready maybe you're gonna start getting more busier busier plans busier schedule there's like something in between look there's like a weighing up like do i don't i do you don't you do something do you don't you go you might be getting an invitation or having something come up and you're like do i do what do i don't i um but if you do spirit saying there's something there okay so the message is of course do what you always feel but if you do get a kind of invitation or you do get kind of a moment to go out or do something, so we're saying to go because there's either someone that you're going to meet there that's significant or some, or something, right? Like you might get a surprise or something. You might get a gift. You might get a manifestation. It's something that happens while you're out or while you're seeing someone or doing something. You're, it's going to give you a big epiphany of some kind. A big internal epiphany. This one, this card was hiding, so let's see what it was. Three of swords fell down there and it was hiding away from me. Hiding away. Hide away. 
something about a hideaway. So we'll, let's, let's lay this out properly. The three cards we've got going on, Ace of Wands, Four of Wands, and the Three of Swords. This Ace of Wands did come out reversed. So maybe this is like you have a lot of energy or excitement or enthusiasm to put into a certain thing, to pursue a certain thing, but maybe you're not sure how it's going to be done or maybe you're not, you don't have all the things you need to do to do it. And Spirit saying that's what's going to happen. You're going to start getting more money come in for some of you or you're going to receive resources or an opportunity that's going to help you go down this path further, right? With this Three of Swords here, maybe you are feeling disappointed about this or maybe there's something that, like we said earlier, maybe you get an opportunity and it falls through or an invitation, it falls through, something like that. Um, obviously, take what resonates. That won't be for everybody. But this is regarding your foundations, your structure. All right, we've got a lot of action energy here. We have a lot of fire energy. But we also have some thought energy coming through. So it's almost as if kind of... I'm going to have to clarify this Three of Swords. It's honestly getting to me. Nine of... This could be you worrying about maybe how far you have to go to get to your own financial stability. Or maybe, um, as we said, maybe it's like you don't have the right circumstances right now or the right money or the right place to be to pursue properly what you want to pursue it's like you have all of these ideas all of this potential this energy all of this motivation but maybe you feel like you can't do some of those things maybe you don't have all the things that you need maybe like we were saying before spirit saying this is what's changing you you didn't get those ideas you didn't get those passions those inspiration for no reason again like even if this is yeah a passion for a person or a place or a situation or a hobby you didn't get that for no reason okay they haven't blocked you off what's moving in is either money for that resources for that or maybe a person that will help you along that journey or some form of clientele or something. Um, this could also be, yeah, that, so this is what you're walking into. This is what's changing. This is what's going to happen next. You've been in this yin, yin period of thinking, reflecting, maybe reevaluating where you're going, what direction you're going, reevaluating maybe some of the things that are going on, some of the connections, some of the business plans you have, some of the ideas you have. And you're saying, how do I put this into action? How do I make this work? And maybe some of you are getting worried because it's not really looking realistic or like it's not looking you're like how right I've got this idea how am I going to make it work but maybe there's some blocks when it comes to that maybe there's like some things that aren't aligning into place spirit's saying this is because it, it hasn't been the right time to right there's something moving in for you that is going to align these things into place do not doubt your ideas do not doubt your uh, journey is what they're saying because there's going to be big changes happening on the outside soon of all of those shifts all of those things that you reflected upon and that you said within your mind you clarified with the universe you said i want this i, I want to do this or this would be really cool that's what they're aligning you with right now so you have the five of pentacles reversed yeah you're definitely coming out of um this whatever's going to happen is going to bring you out of some type of lack of mindset towards uh this journey or some kind of separation you know if you're feeling uh, kind of cut off or like you're you're persevering so much or um you know you've really been keeping strong keeping patient spirit saying it's all going to be worth it when this comes in it's kind of like what everything you've been waiting for is what i'm hearing everything you've been waiting for the hanged man reversed so you're coming out of this hanged man energy you could have been waiting 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 or you could have been planning 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 um yeah, you, the wait is over. The wait is over is what I'm hearing. I'm going to put that as the title. Wow. Ho, ho. Mr. Queen of Wands over here. Queen of Wands over here. The Queen of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles. You are some independent bad bees right here. No matter, regardless of your gender, you're embodying this feminine energy of focusing on yourself, nurturing yourself. You're also following your intuition when it comes to the steps that you want to take next. You know, like you think about things logically, but moreover, you think about things and how they make you feel and what your intuition is telling you to do and where you feel like you're being guided towards, you know, following those synchronicities. And there is something about... Um, you're becoming very, very either recognize, rec 
I want to say recognizable, but I was trying to say recognition. So maybe that's for a reason. Some of you are becoming quite recognizable. You're becoming very well known for whatever it is that you do, right? So say if you do a certain type of passion, hobby or business, you're going to start to become known as that person or you're going to be known as that person within your area for doing something right so maybe in the town where you live maybe you'll be known as the artist or maybe you'll be known as the fill in blank space the musician the the um the tarot reader the healer the the makeup maker, the jewellery maker, you know what I mean? Like you're going to be known as that, it's going to be recognisable, you're going to have a reputation, you're building a reputation within something that you're starting or you're going to start to build something that you will have a really good reputation in. You People will really trust your judgement, your opinion and you're also going to be quite... I want to hear like well desired whatever you're doing it's going to be highly desirable some of you could be doing something and it looks very luxurious or it looks very almost pampering wise there's something to do with self-care here some of you making maybe products to pamper or products for self-care um this is going to be something that really builds your confidence it's going to really build your belief in yourself again as well um, some of you, this could be something you're doing in the spotlight or there's somebody who wants, there'll be a lot of people who want to approach you because of this. For some of you, even people that you left in the past, right? For some of you, there was someone that you, even if it was a friend, a family member or a relationship, there's someone that you kind of, um, the journey didn't go forth. You kind of blocked or distanced yourself from them. There could have been some, some kind of, hurt or deception or loss or heartbreak involved within this um this person's i don't know i just kind of get like people from the past are going to want to come see what you're doing they're going to want to get involved whenever you start doing this again when you start doing this this is like a journey that you're stepping into for the next however long however next the long period of your life um you know the next three four five years of your life the next nine years of your life right as this builds up there's going to be family members or people or friends from the past who kind of want to i, I keep hearing get back in your good graces and it's going to be people who regretted not maybe listening to you or supporting you when you were trying to do something uh especially you know if they didn't really believe you or if, if they made you feel quite cut out some of you this could be a friendship group or a relationship you got cut out of or a family situation you got cut out of and then you start doing your own thing and then they see you in all these years time and they're like oh you're actually doing really well for yourself or you've got like a really good you're really wise you know what to do you follow your intuition you're very creative there's something you're doing that is going to be very valuable and because of that it's almost as if and, and this isn't just me saying it, it's the energy I'm channeling through, so I don't know how I feel about it, but just for the facts, there's going to be people who value you more because of your value that you create in some way, okay? You're going to be seen as very desirable, very valuable in what you do and what you do for work or what you bring to the table. Um, also a lot of confidence, like I said before, you knowing your own power, you knowing your own worth. There's going to be people watching you or there's going to be people... If they're not watching you, it's just like they want to be involved in what you're doing in some way, whether that is just watching you or being your friend or whether that's actually helping you out. Um, this is going to be something you make money from as well. It's something it's definitely something you're going to build a very stable foundation on um, and from the energy of passion, from the energy of love. Right interesting there's going to be people again there could be a love situation who walked away from you or you walked away from them and now they're watching you they're thinking oh you have all these options or oh like they should have treated you better when they had you that's just too bad isn't it sorry <laughs> i told you this deck picks out energies like that but it's like yeah that's just too bad there's people who kind of feel like oh they should have treated you better or kept you around even if it's friends or family they're like oh i should have you know, I wish I kept this person around and now they're doing all this, being all business. Look at them sat on their pentacles, sat on their empire that they're building. You know what I mean? Even if you're not there yet, people don't see you for what, how far you have to go. People see you for how far you could go. You know, you've laid out the path, right? You've laid out the breadcrumb, you've laid out the 
the way, if you go, keep going down that path, eventually it's going to happen. It's going to it's going to be very desirable. There's going to be people who can't get enough of you, who can't get enough of the things you're making. There's like a rush look, a rush, people rushing for the things you're doing or making. Um, yeah, so there is somebody here who has been watching you, keeping an eye on you. It could be somebody, uh, they don't even have to be, well, they have to be watching and keeping an eye on in some way for them to feel like oh you know like it's like they found out more like you've changed so much since they last saw you look with this page of cups they are just kind of looking over they're kind of like oh hmm fair play fair play to them right on the surface they're like fair play um if this is a family member or friend they're like fair play to them for doing all that but on the inside they actually feel like this they actually feel at a loss um regretting walking away what else do you need to hear? And then we'll end this in a second. The King of Pentacles reversed. And the Magician. <laughs> the Star. There's some things that maybe you lost hope for in the future, right? Or maybe you were going at something for so long. Or you have plans that are going to create some form of legacy or long-term uh, foundation for you and it's something that you'll be doing you'll be manifesting yourself you're gonna surprise a lot of the people around you especially you will surprise a lot of the people around you for your willpower your determination your strength because no matter what gender you are within this journey you're you're embodying a lot of yes the divine feminine but you're embodying a lot of the divine masculine now, as i said whatever gender you are which is this king of pentacles which is very future orientated acts for the future look he knows what he's got going he's like a boss but he looks the type to kind of just not even really like he doesn't try to talk professionally or anything because he knows what he has he doesn't really care he's like so high up he's like I don't even care like you you you're building something where you can either be your own boss or you'll be in charge of other people if you like get a promotion you'll be in charge of other people and it's like you wouldn't be abusing this power you'd be so beautiful in this role because you are so kind-hearted and you were a natural empath so if anything like that did happen, I see you really getting really a lot of maybe even awards. Some of you getting recognition awards throughout this journey. Uh, and I'm seeing it. Wow. Yeah, a lot of recognition throughout this journey. Uh, a lot of recognition, even if it's for the products that you're making, maybe like some of the products will be like, oh, number one's skincare product in the UK or something, you know, maybe in like 10 years time. Uh, whatever you're building, it's going to be very successful. The path that you're walking did, walking towards and walking down will be very successful. There'll be a lot to celebrate within this journey. And as we were saying before, King of Pentacles reversed. It's kind of almost as if um, you're starting to commit to it now. Or maybe you didn't want to commit fully to something. Or there was someone that didn't want to fully commit to something. Maybe if it was like a business partner or something. There's someone who was thinking about committing to something. Um... This could even be the person from the past. They wish that they kept you around in their life more. Um, but yeah, you're building this from the ground up, I'm hearing. From the bottom up, you are the magician, the master of surprise, the master of manifestation. Okay, last card. We have two of cups, bottom deck. So this last message is probably going to be... Interesting. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of offers wanting to be made to you, whether that's kind of people I'm seeing, even if you don't want it, right? Even if you're not, even if you're happily in a relationship, or even if you're not looking for that type of thing, there's going to be people who feel like they can uh, smooth you over. What is the word? It's like this person really is like taking his shot. They're like really taking, they really think that they could win this this person over but they're like yeah I know what you're doing like you see straight through people I don't know who this is I'm picking up on but this could just be someone random that you're not even interested in that is like ugh. there's just your your energy is becoming very magnetic very alluring very attractive not even on an outside way but on an internal level because of the confidence that you've built because of because you'll be doing this path that is you're so passionate about it's very creative for some of you um 
or wh whatever that is, because you'll be doing this, it's almost as if you are attracting a lot of people, a lot of friends, and also a lot of people who maybe are wanting to get in with you or something, you know what I mean? So I feel like you don't need to be told, you already see straight through these people and it's always going to be quite funny to you if this does happen, right? It's nothing serious, it's nothing crazy, it's it's more a funny light-hearted thing, isn't it? It's more of a funny light-hearted thing. But yeah, you see straight through these people. I see this as well because you're a very healing energy. So you do attract people and they maybe don't know why they feel so attracted to you. It's because you have a very, very, very healing energy as well. I, if I'm picking up on someone random who works in some type of advisory industry or medical industry or some kind or health industry, maybe like dentistry or a nurse or something. I'm picking up maybe sometimes there's literally people that try to move towards you when you're working. Right, they try and like flirt or stick out a little um, chat up line when you're when you're working or when you meet them when you're just trying to do your job. Say you work in a shop or a cafe, maybe there's like people who kind of try and flirt with you a bit or they kind of want something again your energy is just very very healing it's very magnetic because of all of the inner work that you've been doing so that is why you guys and that goes for all areas you won't just be attracting things that are kind of just funny and pointless you'll be attracting so many things because your energy is literally a magnet you'll be attracting opportunities you'll be attracting abundance you'll be attracting money you'll be attracting resources you'll be attracting clients you'll be attracting people customers like it's going to be really amazing, whatever this is. And I know when I tap into this, it's quite far in the future. Not like far, far, far away. But like you're at the beginning or midway through this journey now. So yeah, I love you all so much. I'll speak to you very soon. I hope this reading brought you some kind of clarity or confirmation in any way. And yeah, have a beautiful day. <laughs> Sorry, this reading really cracked me up. Um, but yeah, I'm giving you a big hug. Mm, big hug. And yeah, love you guys.